is about an arithmetic sequence. So what an arithmetic sequence is, let me go ahead and define this for you, but an arithmetic sequence is pretty much a set of numbers that repeats in a pattern, okay? So a set of numbers where you add the same number to go from one term to the next. So basically you're saying like, if we're adding two every time, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. If the difference every time is, you know, take away or subtract 10, subtract 10, subtract 10, subtract 10. It's the same pattern from one number to the next. So here's the formal way of writing it. A set of numbers where there is a common difference between the numbers or terms is the right way to say it. But that's how we're gonna just say it here for now, but I'm gonna show you in practice what this really looks like. Because again, it's not just about knowing, hey, how do I, you know, what's the formula? What's the definition? Well, do you know how the formula works? Do you know what you're actually looking at? You know, that's what we really need to be keen to if we want to succeed. So my party people, let me give you an example before we actually start this, because I understand that this may be new for a lot of us, but here's an example. Let's pause really quick, because my question is, regardless of whether you think this question is easy or hard, are you prepared to answer more like this? Do you understand everything that you need to know leading up to this, like fractions, decimals? All of these questions that I'm asking you are legitimate questions that every successful ASVAB test taker needs to ask themselves. And so tracking your progress, guaranteeing that you know you're ready, that's the number one way to prepare. And that's why we designed our progress dashboards for the math basics, arithmetic reasoning, and math knowledge. No more do you have to guess and hope for the best in terms of, hey, I practiced for two days straight, I hope I'm ready. You know, that happens way too often and then people move on only to find out that they weren't ready and then time was wasted. So don't waste time. When you have a plan and a progress book like this that's lined up for you from beginning to end, you are absolutely 100% guaranteed to grow. So if you're happy about that or excited, go ahead and click the link in the description of this video or text me at 567-698-8867. Text me asking me about how the program works. I'm more than happy to take time out of my day to make sure that you're successful. So don't waste time. Let's make sure you get the score you want and that job you deserve. Hit me up, click the link in the description, and let's get you in there. An example could be, hey, we have, let's say two, then six, then 10, then 14. Everybody based off of this pattern, what would the next number be? Yep, that'll be 18. Because I hope you noticed that the common difference, the common difference was plus four, add four, add four. So are we seeing that the common difference? That's what that means. It's the same difference. And that's the only time where that is grammatically appropriate to say it is the same difference from one term to the next. Does that make sense? My part of you. Don't feel slow, man. Don't say that you're slow. You're not slow. We're getting a refresher here. That's all it is. We're getting a refresher. And for those of us that never have seen this, well, hey, welcome. So let's take a look at the problem at hand. My, prob my party people, if we're talking about a sequence, again, take a look at it right here. A sequence is what we're talking about, a sequence of numbers. What does the question say? Which term are we looking for? We're looking for the first term. We're looking for the first term. That's what the question is telling us to find right here. What is the first term? So if I'm listing this out, bam, I'm looking for term number one. Looking for term number one. What information do they give us, everyone? What do they tell us? Danish, mate. We'll see how we get there. 
Yeah, we see that the third number in the sequence is 18, and the fifth number is 38. Let me highlight that for you. So right here, we're told, hey, the third term is 18, the fifth term is 38. There it is in blue right up there. So let's go ahead and show ourselves, hey, number two, number three, number four, number five. I am told that the third one is 18, the fifth one is 38. Everyone, did I write that down correctly, yes or no? Okay, so now that we're here, it's a little weird, right? Because when I showed you this example over here, I just asked you, hey, what's the next one? Not, hey, we have the third and the fifth, let's work backwards to find the first one, right? It's a little weird in that sense. It's a little weird, but I'm still gonna show you how to solve it. It's actually very straightforward as long as you know the principles of what we're doing. The biggest key here is this, everyone. They tell you right here, if a common number is added to find the next term, everyone, if they're saying that a common number is added to find the next term, is that the same thing as the common difference that we just talked about? Is that the same thing? It is. It is. That's how you know that this is an arithmetic sequence. So just a brief, I want to, okay, before I move on to the next question, I'm going to give you another bit of note to basically say, hey, we have an arithmetic sequence and we have a geometric one. I'll explain the clear difference between them right after we do this, but let's focus on this right now. So this is bingo for us right here. We want number one. We have number three, we have number five, but what we know is that the same number is being added from here to get to here, from there to there, there to there, and there to there. My party people, what is that number gonna be? What is that number gonna be? If I wanna go from 18 to some number, then some number to 38, what are we adding every single time? Yes, and for the person who, who just asked, hey, uh, I'm confused. It says, it says common difference. It means to find the first term? No, it means that the common difference is part of the problem. They didn't tell you what it was, but you have to take a detour to find it so that you can find that first term. So it's, a, it's, a, it's two steps for this problem, and as long, as long as you realize that, you'll be a little more calm, but without knowing that, the moment you find the common difference, you might think that that's the answer. So here's what we do, my party people. I got you, no worries. So we see here that to go from 18 to 38, that's plus 20. But we jumped two numbers, not one. And since it's the same thing every time, if we jumped 20 over two numbers, everybody, what's 20 cut in half? Divided by two, what's 20 divided by two? 10. Because if you're jumping two numbers and that's 20, well, if it's going to be the same number every time, if you're only going one number, it's half of that. It has to be half. That's plus 10. So that's going to be plus 10 here, plus 10 here. And that middle number has to be 28. Because think about it now. Now it makes sense. From 18, I add 10. 28, add 10 again, 38. It fits the bill, it fits the pattern. Are we good so far? Are we good so far? Good, 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 okay, cool. So now that we're here, everybody, we're not working forward in this problem, we are working what? Yeah, we're working backwards. So if we wanna go back to the first term, you know, to move forward, if we started here, we're adding 10, adding 10, adding 10 every single time. But if we're working backwards, oh no, 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 no. We have got to work backwards. So that means, hey, subtract 10 if we're going backwards. Subtract 10 if we're going backwards. And that makes sense, 38, 28, 18. What's the second term, everybody? 
let's keep it real, my math party people. I know that watching these ASVAB videos on YouTube is great, but what if you could join me live for a free class once a week? I do have free classes live once a week for two hours a piece for ASVAB math, so why not join me? Click the link right here. That way you can join me, raise your score for free, and keep kicking butt like you're doing right now. Let's get back to the action, but I hope to see you in class soon. Click there and let's get started. That's gonna be eight, yes. And then if we subtract 10 again, what's that gonna be? Yeah, not negative eight, that's a trick answer. It's gonna be negative two. Negative two will be the answer there. And that was it, right there. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.